Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to run a setup program installation with CCH Pro System FX Tax. This video goes over how to run a setup program installation in CCH Pro System FX Tax. A setup program installation reinstalls the .exe and .dll files for the program. It does not reinstall the tax products. The only time you will need to run a setup program installation is if a knowledge base article or support representative directs you to do so. You can run a setup program installation from both prior year and current year installation files. If you run a setup program installation using a prior year installation media, you must run another setup program installation with the most current year's version afterwards. As with any installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax, all users must be out of the program during the installation process. And it is also recommended that you disable your antivirus program during the installation. To access the most current installation files, open Software Delivery Manager. After you have downloaded the current installation files, click View Product Installation Package. If you need assistance with downloading installation images in Software Delivery Manager, pause this video and go to the URL shown on your screen. After clicking View Product Installation Package, Windows Explorer will open, showing you the file that was just downloaded using Software Delivery Manager. Double-click it to run the file. You can keep the default location if you wish. I have created a folder on my C drive named Tax Install Files that I am going to use in this video. After I have selected that folder, I will click Unzip. After the installation files have decompressed, an installation window will automatically launch. When it does, click Exit to close out of it. Next, on your keyboard, press Windows R to bring up the run line. On the run line, type the drive and folder path to the location that you just unzipped the installation files to with a backslash setup program at the end of it. In my example, that would be C colon backslash tax install files backslash setup space program. If you are running a setup program installation for the 2012 or prior year program, you will need to use the latest installation DVD from that year. In this case, on the run line, you would type your DVD drive letter, colon backslash, setup space program, like what I've shown on the screen. So regardless if you are using a prior year installation DVD or software delivery manager, the path on the run line is going to be the drive and folder path to where your installation media is located with the backslash setup space program at the end of it. Once you have the setup program command typed into the run line, press enter on your keyboard and the installation window will appear. On the first installation window, select use previously installed permission key and press OK. At this point, the installation will begin and it will complete on its own. If you receive a message stating that you are attempting to install a version of the software that is older than what you have installed, that means that you are running a setup program installation with an older version than what you have installed. This is a normal message to receive if you are running setup program from a prior year. If you are running a setup program from a prior year, go ahead and click yes to continue. Again, if you are running a setup program installation from a prior year, you will need to run another setup program installation using the most current year's version when it is complete. If you receive this message, running setup program using the most current year's software, click no to this message and make sure to download the most current version of the installation files using Software Delivery Manager. When the setup program installation completes, it will ask you to reboot. It is recommended to click Yes to reboot. However, if you are installing this on a server machine, reboot when possible. Thank you for watching the video on how to run a setup program installation for CCH Pro System FX Tax. If you would like to see additional information on this subject, please visit us at support.cch.com and search our knowledge base for these titles or the article numbers listed below them. Again, thank you for watching.